Hi, my name is Jennifer Moore. I'm the Pharmacy Technician Program Director and also an instructor here at Pensacola State College. Um, the Pharmacy Technician Program prepares students to go to work right away after completing the program. You're going to work as a pharmacy technician under the uh, supervision of a registered pharmacist. Um, the technician is a trusted medical profession. The field is a rapidly growing field. They expect the field to grow by about 31% in the next seven years. So there's a great need right now for pharmacy technicians. Um, there are also many areas of uh, opportunities for employment for technicians. You have um, hospitals, you have um, retail and community pharmacies, um, independents or big chains. You have um, nursing homes and continued care, um, long-term care homes. You have um, um, IV chemotherapy, compounding pharmacies. There's a, there's a great number of opportunities and the field is only growing for pharmacy technicians right now. Um, other opportunities in doctor's offices, mail order pharmacies and things like that. Working as a pharmacy technician, you can expect to do things like um, in the retail setting, you'll receive prescriptions from patients. You'll um, enter those prescriptions into the computer and generate labels. You'll um, count the actual medications and put them in the bottles. The pharmacist will always check your work. Um, working in a hospital, you may do things like put medications into the cart for delivery to the floor. You may work in the IV room. You may um, add medications into IV fluids that are going to go up to the patients. Um, you may also do things like um, uh, complete IV nutrition and there are machines that you will work with to help uh, the patients get their IV nutrition. Um, and working in uh, long-term care facilities, you may be actually delivering medications to the floors for the nurses to give to their patients. The typical coursework for the Pharmacy Technician Program starts with a series of prerequisite courses. Um, things like English communication to work on your communication skills. Um, you're going to need some medical terminology, some anatomy and physiology, and these are high-level classes but very important um, coming up into the Pharmacy Tech uh, courses. Also um, some computer classes, a computer class just to make sure that you have the computer skills that you're going to need in the pharmacy. Um, then once your prerequisites are met you're going to go into your actual um, core pharmacy technician classes and here you're going to start with basic materials such as the history of pharmacy, where drugs come from, and you're going to move on up into things that are uh, more complex like pharmacology, classifications of medications, drug dosing and dosages, um, IV flow rates and things like this, pretty a little bit more advanced. And um, the um, next part of the curriculum usually is going to be a series of lab classes. You're going to go to your lab, you're going to learn how to do your scales, you're going to learn how to count your prescriptions, you're going to learn how to mix those IV fluids and um, you know create your unit dose cards and, and these are all skills that you're going to need when you go out there into, the, into your um, career. Um, following that, we have um, typically the last uh, part of the program is going to be clinical experiences. You're going to go out onto the job site and work with uh, a pharmacy tech or a pharmacist and a preceptor and get actual real world experience. So when you come out of the program, you're going to have experience to put on your resume that says, I have already worked as a pharmacy technician and I can do this job. So. Um, Following that, once you complete the program, you're going to be eligible to register for the national certification. Um, we um, use the Pharmacy uh, Technician Certification Board, and that's a national exam that's not always required by employers, but it, it really looks good on your resume. And you'll also be eligible to register for your State Board of Pharmacy if that's required in your state and it's moving in that direction. Some advice that I would give for um, people who are interested in this program would be um, first off to um, start early. If you're interested in this program, go ahead and apply to the school. Go ahead and get in your transcripts and things that you need um, and apply to the program because at some point there may be a waiting list and if you get all your materials in, start working on your prerequisites, that'll get you into that program just that much faster. As far as the 
program is concerned, I would say you need to you need to be a good a good student. This is um, you know it's not rocket science, but there are some challenging courses that you need to take. There's some memorization. You need to be a good student. You need to come to class. You need to be able to do distance learning versus classroom learning if that's part of the program. Um, secondly, I would say you need to be able in the career to be in to handle a fast-paced environment. I mean, pharmacy is fast. Whether you're working in the hospital, whether you're working, you know, at a big retail chain or a little small pharmacy, it's fast-paced. You need to be able to handle, you know, people coming in, talking on the phone, doing these things at the same time. You need to be able to work well with your team members because this is the team and we work together to get this to get the job done. I would say. Um, Next, you would be able to handle a physically demanding job. You are going to be on your feet all day. You know, you're going to be walking and standing. You're going to have to lift, you know, a certain amount of things. You're going to have to stock shelves and put things up. Um, so you need to be able to handle the physical aspect of the job. And finally, I would say, and most importantly, um, you need to care about people. This, this is a medical professional career. Um, you're here to take care of your patients. You may not be, you know, hands-on with your patients, but you're here for your patients. You need to be able to be empathetic with them. You need to be able to handle it when somebody's mad at you for something that isn't your fault because that happens and they're sick. So uh, you would need to care about people really to be in this profession.